my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Orlando Tassoni. You can also find me on Instagram and Etsy at Two's Creative Company. Today I'm going to be sharing a project share for, hosted by Lasagna over in the Crafty Manipulators Facebook group. This was the spring tag flip and what we had to do was create five tags, three sets of three handmade embellishments, three sets of store-bought goodies, and one item you can't craft without. So let's get started. So one thing I created, this is my item that I created for what I can't craft with without. So I created a pouch. And when I craft, I like to keep everything organized and separated. So I created a bag, a pouch for each, each person in the swap, including Lasagna, the host. And so I used canvas and I painted the canvas and sewed them together and created this snap pouch here. Let me just put that back on so I don't lose the tag. So each pouch will look slightly different as again, like I said, I did hand paint, whoops, I painted these. So again, the everything will not be the exact same, but just to give you a look as to what it looks. And this is what the final, final packaging kind of looks like here all together. So again, this is my item you can't craft without. So I'm just going to put this off to the side. And for my tags, whoops, I personalized and created these boxes for everyone. And the paper I used for this is by Monique Digital Art. You can find her on Etsy. And I'll leave any links down below so you can check things out. So we'll take a look at inside one of the boxes here. So again, I followed a tutorial uh, by Tamika on Scrapped World. Again, I'll leave that linked down below and she created these boxes. And I just had these to house my tags. I thought they came, came out very cute and perfect to fit the tag. If you're interested in seeing a process video on how I created my tags, again, I'll leave that down below. I do have a video showing this. So I'll just flip through the tags here. The, I, the paper pad I used for this was by Graphic 45, the Fairy Dust Collection. So this is my first tag. Here is my second tag. And I just loved how this tag, this tag turned out. I thought this paper was perfect for the spring theme. And then on the back, you just had to include your information. So there is my information there. And then I also included this, uh, oh gosh, what is it called? Ribbon. And I didn't cut any of the pieces in case if they wanted to use it in a different project. So let's just how put this back in. So again, this box just fit these items in perfectly. Okay. And next I'm going to show you the items that I put inside. So this is how my three sets of three handmade embellishments come packaged up. Uh, for this, I used, let me see here. I used, what is it? This scallop circle. I used one of these circle dies. I used this larger die. And, sorry. I might have gotten this one from AliExpress. I'm pretty sure I got this one from Michaels. And then again, this die was from AliExpress. And I also used a fairy, the fairy die and the swan die. I also have another project showing and explaining how I created these two. So if you're interested in 
seeing that again, I'll leave that video linked down below. So we'll just kind of pull all of the items out here, hopefully. And I won't be taking them out of the packaging as they're already nicely packaged and everything. So these are the bows that I created. So I used colors that coordinating. I wanted to use some different colors that coordinated with the paper that I used, but weren't exactly from the paper, so that way if they wanted to use in a different project. I love how those bows turned out. I created oops, these swans. And I used tool to give it an extra layer. So there's the th three swans. And here I created three fairy shakers. So these are really nice to put on projects, on cards, on if you wanted to do like a bag topper. So I loved how everything turned out. Let's see if I can put this back. So again, I did show a video kind of explaining how I made each of the swans and the fairies. And I also embossed the back of the paper there, if you can see. Okay. And then we're just gonna put this in the pouch here as we go along. And let me see here. For my three store-bought goodies, I am including these pop dot adhesives. I'm including some wood embellishments. And I also have these paper roses that I'm also including. So since I kind of got a little bit too busy with work, uh, in case you're wondering, I am the manager at our local movie theater and with the opening of Avengers, I was preparing, it took me a week and a half to prepare for the film. Huge movies always take a while to prepare for. And then with the opening, I've just been insanely busy with work. We've been nuts. If you've seen the video or seen the movie, you can comment down below. I, royal, I really enjoyed it and I'm pretty exhausted as well from work. Um, so I wasn't able to get this finished in the time frame that I wanted. I have to ship mine from Canada, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to get there, and I kind of didn't, took a little bit longer than my time frame that I was hoping for to get everything completed. So I'm gonna add some additional goodies, and so I hope all my partners, all my partners, I uh, really love what I've created and I'm really sorry for any late delays. So I am going to also include five plastic sleeve bags for when you packaging. So this is also something also that I can't craft without when you package things up, right? And another thing I'm including is this little packaging here. And so I will, so what's included is some stickers, there's a bookmark, there's some deco stickers and there's also some die cuts. So let's just put, let's package this up. And just so you can see how I did package everything up. So I just put that back there. And then I packaged this. So yeah, I really hope my partners enjoy everything that I created. Yes, I created for them. I had a lot of fun creating all of the items for this swap. And again, I'm really sorry if anyone has to wait a long time for my swap to get in. I will try and make sure I ship it out and do quick shipping or something and get it to Lasagna as fast as possible. So that is everything. Oh, sorry, let me. That is everything that I created for this swap. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day.